So the place we're heading to right now is actually about 30 miles outside of the city of Austin. It's a small town called Copeland, Texas. There's a place there called the Old Copeland Inn and Dance Hall where they serve really outstanding Texas soul food. We're gonna hear some live music and maybe do a little bit of dancing. I've heard good things about these brisket stuffed poppers. Yes, that's our very much popular appetizer. I would like to try this chicken fried steak. Awesome. Which also looks amazing. Yeah, our chicken fried steak is actually a hand tenderized, hand cut sirloin steak. Okay, well that's exciting. What the heck, let's, let's get a steak. <laughs> okay. Let's, try, let's, let's do this Lone Star ribeye. Rib Great. This is gonna be more than enough food for me. Okay. Thank you so much. All right, you bet. Appreciate it. So give me a little bit of history about this place. We started uh, with, the, with the little dance hall, which was a little old beer joint. Barbara and I just, well, she thought I was crazy. <laughs> what does that did. look? You just gave a look. <laughs> you said she thought I was crazy. I knew it was crazy. <laughs> anyway, we decided, well, that we wanted to do a little little dance hall. Okay, well, well that's a big know. dance hall. I mean, yeah. that's a pretty substantial. You know, and then we wound up opening on Good Friday. and. About 500 people showed up at that little dance hall. Oh, so this is the anniversary? Yeah. That's today. So we oh, were that's just... that's great. We were just, you know, like, okay, now it's going to go, go, and it just started from there. Now, as far as the restaurant goes, where, where, did, the, where did the recipes come from? Where, does the, where did that, those ideas come from? This world? I knew how to make potato salad. Okay. I knew how to make sweet beans or baked beans, and I knew how to make coleslaw from my favorite restaurant. Well, I've had the barbecue bef here before. It's pretty good, so... So we're gonna have some music later on the on the other side. We've got a band coming in. We have the Tejas brothers. The Tejas brothers. It sounds good. Oh, yeah. What kind of dance? Will you teach me? Are you teachable? I am. I am. I'll Will teach you. you. I'm four seconds. I you, can have you. You promise? Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Barb. This is the chicken fried steak? That's the chicken fried steak. This is the size of a barn. This thing is huge. Here are the brisket jalapeno poppers. These things look good. Jalapeno peppers stuffed with brisket. A little bit of cheese. Chicken fried. You get that fresh sweetness of the pepper. You get the spice of the jalapeno. And then you've got this very light fry, this light crispy fry. This is like improving on the TGI Fridays version by about a hundred million percent. Let's go on to this monster of a chicken fried steak. I don't even know where to begin, but this looks amazing. I feel like this is the kind of thing the state of Texas was built on. A really high quality piece of meat, battered and deep fried, smothered in gravy. In a lot of ways, this is sort of like Texas soul food. This is what Texas is all about. Moving on. This is the, the piece de resistance, as it were. This is the ribeye, the medium rare ribeye. I gotta give a little shout out to Vance. He was nine when he asked if he could work here when he turned 15. And like the day he turned 15, he was like, can I have a job? You told me I could. Well, now he's 18 and he's, uh, and he's firing up these steaks. Let's, uh, let's dig into this guy. I'm gonna get a piece right out of the middle here. Pretty good, Vance. Medium rare. Good on you, buddy. That was really good. Let me tell you what Vance did. Vance fired this until it was perfectly pink in the middle, medium rare, and charred on the outside. The meat is extremely tender and flavorful. Quality piece of meat, properly cooked, simply seasoned, really, really well done. Congratulations, fans, thank you. This is the life. What we do? You want to do it out of the dance floor? You want to do it? Oh no, we gotta go on out of the dance floor. But now you gotta tell me what's 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 the secret to dancing. You listen to the music, to the drum, and the beat. And you always start off on your left foot. Start off on my left. Now this is a little fast. We'll try to take one slower. All right. So
so we're gonna wait for a, a slightly we'll slower one. Oh, I'm too old for that fast thing. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we know how to do a slow. All right, I'm looking forward to this. I'm a little nervous. I don't know if I am. You said the... What? You find out it's too slow? What the hell? Let's do it. Come on. Okay. She's still pretty Two steps on your left. Two steps on the left. One. Money And then one to the right. Okay. Come part me. We don't we don't do we don't spend too much. I'm too old. I went to see my friend. See, I told you I wouldn't be so bad. They stop loving her. That was great. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Dining on a Dime. If you'd like to watch more, please click here. Sorry, my friend, but I'm gonna eat you.